What do we have to do? Ask Winhelm about Raider. Return to Klimek and investigate Shroud Half Barrow. Alright, let's speak to Winhelm about Raider. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Uh, what's, what's the story of Narfi, Winhelm? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. But you told Narfi she's coming back, though. I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raider would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Wow, this town is just full of liars. Like, you lied to Nafi. We just lied to <laughs> Daraki. Everybody's been lying, lying to Dar Daraki. It's, it's kind of tragic. Anything dangerous on that small island to the east, though? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall. But I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Okay. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. Good advice. So we have just returned from there. And your inn doesn't really have many patrons. Apart from that adventurer dude from Riften. Right, so... I guess let's head over to uh, Shroud Hearth Barrow. And see what's going on there. Now we were there just a second ago, so... In a alternate reality. Let's switch the lan good old lantern on. Oh, I see some mushrooms. Bleeding crown. Do we wonder if we've got bleeding crown. Oh, mountain flowers. Very nice. Oh, mountain flowers. Shroud hearth barrow. Look at that ruin. The ancestors were almost as clever as the dwarves were. The way they built it. Indeed, Lydia. Indeed. Okay, let's see if there's anything these skeletons shears and some scalpels and some embalming screws they all sound absolutely delightful right well I guess let's head in Lydia clever as the ancestors were they hardly wore any armor Never understood why. You know, you got a, you got a fair point there. You got a fair point there. Right. Well, let's do a quick savey save, and let's head on in. Head on in to Shroud Hearth Barrow. That's a bit of a long way down. Ooh. Okay, there's Lydia. Oh, a soul gem. Plentiful healing. I don't need any uh, anything else though. I think we're good, Lydia. Ooh. Ooh, Rogers. Ooh, coin purse. Nine septums. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Eye braces. This place. Whoa. Leave this place. Leave. 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 Okay, Lydia. When home was right, this uh barrow is indeed haunted. Better be careful. Okay, well, now you look careful like. In there. I 
I'd hate to see you survive so many battles only to be killed by a trap. I know, right? The ages before man. Illusion increased. Oh. Flawless garnet as well. That would be worth quite a bit. Right. What happens if we touch these levers? Oh! Okay, don't touch that end one. Don't touch that end one. Okay. We did it. We figured it out, Lydia. We figured it out. Okay, you've got the hide braces. Another empty berry alone. Prentice door. Oh, well, that's a pressure plate if ever I've seen one. Yikes. Wouldn't want to get impaled. Don't set off that trap, Lydia. Do not set it off. Ooh. A trip wire as well. Shit. Very careful. Easy does it. Wall of cards. Card of walls. Number six. Nice. 20 septums. A helium pot. And a soul gem. It's a filled soul gem as that. And that as that as well. Right. Oh! Well, Lydia down. Lydia down. Why did you stand right there next to the trap when you saw what happened last time? Why did you stand there? Okay. Very smart, obviously. Oh! Ow! Fucking hell. These spike traps are crazy. Iron door. Oh, there's another trap there. Ooh. I mean, these traps are only effective if you go through the door. I didn't mean to actually set that off, you know. Okay, what's back here? Ah, oh. another dragon claw barrow. You need the sapphire claw to activate the keyhole. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Venture right. Oh no, we're dead, we're dead. Oh! Bleh. 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 Okay. Okay. Shit. I know, right? Does someone live? Lydia, help! Lydia, help! Help! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Lydia. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Wendilius.
He wasn't even a ghost, Lydia. The people in, uh, in town are lying to us. This town is full of lies. Potion of Magicka, though. Steel braces, steel greaves. Right, let's see what he's got on him. Sapphire Dragon Claw? No. Iron Dagger. A rude song. And filter of the Phantom. A pierce spectral for 30 seconds. Oh, so he wasn't even... He wasn't even a ghost, Lydia. Wow. Wendilius's journeyer journal. Read the ferment. And magic from the sky. Okay, we'll take both of those. Another filter of the phantom and a satchel. Lockpick, septum, and a potion of healing. We'll just ignore that uh, missing texture. Um, and Wendilius's journal. Let's have a read of it then. Hopefully, yes. The Journal of Wendelius Gatharian. A Wendelius Gatharian. A journal documenting a treasure hunter's descent into madness. Fourth Era 200, 18 Morningstar. I've set up camp inside the barrel. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Fourth Era, 200, 25 Morningstar. Had a close call today with that fool, Wilhelm. Came close to entering the barrel, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. Fourth Era 200, 28 Morningstar. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrel. I'm going to test it out tomorrow. Fourth Era 200, 29 Morningstar. Success! It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander about the entrance to the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Wow. Fourth Era 200, 11 Hearthfire. Almost half a year has passed, and no sign of the claw, or any clues as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It has to be here. Can't risk hiring any assistance, so I'll have to continue alone. Fourth Era 200, 20 Sun's Dusk. It isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Iverstead. They must be onto my ruse and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Fourth Era 200, 18 Evening Star. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal to remember my purpose. Am I a part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? First Era, 1050. They shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroud Hearth Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. Wow. He is absolutely insane. Like... Setting up camp inside the barrow to look for the dragon claw, then makes a potion to scare off the other town folk. So he appears like a ghost just so that he can have all the treasure to himself. And then he starts going mad because he can't find the treasure and then skips from the fourth era. Right the way back to the first era. So he loses his mind slowly because he can't find the treasure in the barrow. And then the last entry is from the first era. Three eras prior. So that's like a couple of thousand years prior. He skips backwards. And he thinks he's the guardian of Shroudhurst Barrow. Because he's like, they shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste the wrath of my power. I am the guardian of Shroud Half Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. 
He is absolutely bonkers. Bring Windilius' journal to Windhelm. Potentially. But this guy was absolutely insane. Right, well, there's no dragon claw here. So I guess let's uh, let's go speak to Windhelm. I guess that is we can't we can't go down that way. So uh, yeah, let's go uh, go speak to Windhelm, Lydia. If we can find our way out. Hmm. All right, back up the round staircase we go. Let's see what Windilius has to say about this. No, Windhelm. What did I say, Windilius? I think I'm losing my mind as well, Lydia. You better run. Better run before it's too late. All right. Ooh, flowers. Yoink. Wonder where Klemek is. We need to go give him back his, uh... Welcome to the hmm. Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. You got a fair point there as well. Maybe it was made from, from uh, someone else's spirit. Who knows? Mendelius, I bring news from Shout Half Barrow. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. I gay I, I found this journal in Shroud Half Barrow. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well. Least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. What what we got? You had the Sapphire Dragon Claw all along. You had it. You told Windilius that he shouldn't go into the barrow. Wow. Right. See you around. See you around. He had. The dragon core claw all along. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess we've got the key to Shroud Half Barrow now. I just don't have the uh Ooh. Do you want any Good to see you? Do you want Take a look. Any of my stuff. You can have the hawker meat. And the sacks of flour. Any ingredients? Mm, I kind of want to keep the ingredients. Even though honeycomb. Is like. Super Anytime, heavy. Honeycomb is really heavy. Right. Well. Oh shit. Alright, we'll do Raider, Raider later. Um, interesting prospect. The horn we need to do as well. And return to Klimek. Right, well, it, time is 3 a.m. I think you should continue with your performances. <sighs> What's we the could that at some point. I'm not very good. I'd like to rent a room. Forty gold. Forty. Holy damn! That's so expensive. But okay. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Which room is it? There's there's people sleeping in these rooms. Okay, this one. Ah. Let me know if there's anything else you need. What is it with you innkeepers and not putting a door on someone's room, you know? Ooh. 
Take Septums. I will take those. Ooh. Thanks for the uh, 14 Septums, Windhelm. Right. Let's sleep for five hours. I think you should continue Perfect. with your performances. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few. Yes. I think you played. All right, let's go, Lydia. It magic would be a shame if you stopped. Can't say I blame you. All right. I barely trust any of it. I myself. suppose it's the least I can do for you. Okay. 